Alrighty guys, what's going on? Got a little update here on the EKEG DC2 AC Tucket. At uh, the moment, we ended up doing some brackets. Uh, they're gonna be coming now with the kits. This was a problem that everybody had in the previous past that we didn't supply with the brackets. So now they're gonna be coming with a bracket on top and bracket on the bottom. I do suggest that you are gonna have to relocate your um, horn. You can probably put it on the other side somewhere over here, but you might be able to fit it somewhere in this area but i just want to let you know that um this is the new brackets all right so i do suggest to paint them yourself we're going to powder coat them but we didn't want to upcharge more on the kits uh we feel comfortable on the price that it is for everybody and really not to raise the price for some powder coating you can you know paint it yourself it's something very simple uh but other than that here's the new look and i also ended up adding on the website uh, if you have a full size radiator or a half size radiator, okay. Um, so this is right here set up. It's going to be for half size. So you can see here we have the hose going back. Here we'll be going to the compressor, the one in the back right here. You see my finger. All right. So this is for half size. If you are going to be having a full size radiator, you're going to have to here look at the video closely and look at your setup and see if this is gonna work for you or not. It is a very tight fitment. As you can see, it's already almost rubbing on there right here. So you can, you know, move the condenser left or right as you wish, but I just wanna let you know that if you don't have enough room here, I do suggest to go with the full size um, radiator setup, all right? So the only thing that would change here, this will still be the same. The hose coming from the firewall to here will still be the same. So the ones that are gonna change is gonna be this one. So you can see here, that one goes to the back. So this one will be a um, 45, it will come down, all right? It will go behind the headlight right here underneath and it will go out to the compressor here, all right? So that's one thing that's gonna change, all right? The last thing will change will be the hose that comes from the, comp from the firewall out to your compressor. That hose will now will go here to the side, like underneath the headlight, but not in the front, but in the corner. There's like a hole there. I'm gonna see if I can put a picture for you guys and it's gonna bring it out. That's only for the people that are choosing a full-size radiator. If you're not choosing a full-size radiator, you can still bring the hose around and feed it through here and into the compressor, okay? Um, do be mindful, it is a very tight fitment, but you can move this a little bit out to the right as, as you wish. So you can see here, we have a lot of holes. So that is the new update that I wanted to put. We added the brackets and now you have the option there on the website for a full size radiator or a half size radiator. Um, like I said, the easiest way in my opinion would to go with a, a half size radiator. It's a little bit uh, more easier to route, uh, but you can, you know, do the, do the choice to do a, a full size radiator, but do be mindful. Look at the right here, the video very closely before you make that choice. All right, guys. So uh, hopefully the new update on the video is helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Leave a comment there and I will get to you. But here's a quick look overall, all right? So once again, we got the brackets. We got the bottom brackets. We have now the choice of a, a full size and half size. All right, guys? I'll see you guys in the next one. I appreciate you guys watching, all right?